my name is Portia. Welcome back to the Portia Laxi channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a review about a dehydrator. So let's get right into the kitchen and then start with the video. But wait, you see this thing behind me? Yes, it's one of my DIY projects that I did a few months ago. If you want to know how I made this, it's so easy. I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below. So let's get into today's hi guys so this is the dehydrator that i got from amazon this is how it came in this box i think that's the name of the brand that i'm pointing to and when i turn it around and you open this is what you see there's a hard shell covering on top of the dehydrator and then So this is the topmost covering of the dehydrator and then there's a top shelf a second shelf and that's the third one fourth and fifth shelf so in all it comes with five shell and then this is how the base looks like i think that's what provides the heat so i can say the motto of the dehydrator this is the issue itself so it has this off and on button the set button plus and minus sign this is what we are going to start with some oranges bananas and some apples and yeah if you have kids and they don't like certain fruits i mean that's my way of incorporating some fruits into my kids diet so i'm going to dry them make them into a powder and then i can mix it in their foods whenever they are eaten because sometimes when you give it to them raw especially with the bananas they don't eat it so i found a way and this is it So with the settings, you set it to whichever temperature Fahrenheit you want. I set mine to 140 and then you set the hour as well. So for instance, you want to set it to 11 hours, 24 hours, you can do that. So that's the timer. The temperature range is an automatic shutdown to prevent overheating five trays and then electric um, dehydration. So as you can see with the trays, the top tray is different. The topmost one is written, there's something written on it. So that shows that that one should be on top. So the four trays are open at the top, but the fifth on top is closed. So this is my next bag. You know, sometimes you buy them, you keep them in the fridge and then they go bad. So what I do is that with this dehydrator, anytime I'm left with some, I'll just throw it into the dehydrator, dry them, blend them, and then keep them in my spice bottle. So that's exactly what I'm doing, especially with this fresh um, herbs. Mostly I end up throwing them away, no more. So I'm doing thyme, rosemary, a mint and something else
all right so this is my next badge it's onions two and a half onions precisely and yeah i'm going to dry them make them crunchy and then turn it into a powder now this is a kind of yam in ghana i think it's in asia i don't know the name but in ghana we call it koliko i don't know coco <laughs> so if you know the name kindly let me know um this is my dry onions it is so crunchy it smells like onions and it was so satisfying touching them oh my gosh so yeah i'm going to blend them and then make them into onion powder i'm so excited that i made this on my own <laughs> it feels amazing oh mine the dry fruits they are so delicious and this is the onion powder and that's the thyme and that's the parsley and the spice container i already had some parsley so mine is the blended one on top i blended it with a stem so you can see it there and it's greener than the ones i bought in the shop and i think that's the rosemary thank you so much for watching today's video so i see you in my next video stay blessed and beautiful bye